Southern Paladin, <clears throat> making a video response to your video response to my video response to Bonnet Mom's video response to my video. You know what I mean? Um, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm going to be eating my frosted mini wheats this morning. Trying not to smack my food like. Sometimes I listen to my videos and I can hear like I'm like smacking on my food. It's like, ugh, cringe. Sorry about that, folks. Probably doing it right now and I don't even realize it. Anyway, I think, I don't know if you missed the point of my video or you just failed to address it. Um, the point of my last video wasn't that... Um, Teachers are wrong to try to help students get organized and teachers are wrong to, you know, teach the kids manners and, you know, really is that their job though, you know, um, it's really the parents job. And if the parents fail at that, the teachers are, are, are in kind of a bad spot, but <clears throat> it's the whole aspect of public humiliation that I was trying to convey in my last video publicly humiliating a child in front of his peers or her peers, peers is a very bad idea. It's very damaging, very damaging. Um, and teachers used to do it all the time and they probably still do it. You know, they think, oh, this will be good for him. I'm going to yell at him and uh, send him to the office or, you know, Tell him that he's disorganized, his, his penmanship sucks, but like whatever, whatever I'm going to do. And then if I do it in front of all of his friends, maybe that'll motivate him to, to change, you know, because. Um, <clears throat> and they're dead wrong because that's just that's just damaging. And usually most kids. Um. I'm not saying the kids are perfect. I'm saying uh, I'm not saying the kids don't lie. I'm not saying the kids um, aren't aren't lazy. But kids have this sort of innate um, desire to please adults. Kids, for the most part, are people pleasers until they grow up to unlearn that behavior. And when a child it has not pleased their parents, when the child has not pleased their coach, when a child has not pleased their teacher, it's usually pretty upsetting to them. And the child wants to please their teacher, but sometimes they just don't have the skills to do what they're being asked to do. And yelling at them and publicly humiliating them isn't going to teach them the skills. It, it's not going to motivate them either. It's going to actually make them feel like shit. Um, so I don't think you address that point at all in your video, which is kind of what the main point of my video was, you know, teacher making me drag my feet around the, around the classroom, teacher dumping my shit out of my desk in front of everybody and, and kind of berating me in front of everyone. And like, you shouldn't berate people at all, let alone in front of their peers. Another thing that I think kind of bothered me about your last video is that there seems to be this assumption that all kids are liars all the time. I would reframe that and say that uh, all human beings are liars, but none of them are liars all the time. You know, you gave the example of uh, a child saying that they took out the garbage when they really left it at the door. Well, <clears throat> The only reason an adult wouldn't lie about that is because they know that they would get caught in that lie because it's obvious. You know, kids don't, kids aren't very good at covering their tracks when they lie, but adults lie all the time, but they, they lie about things that they know they can get away with usually, or they're pretty sure they can get away with. And so adults are just more intelligent about the way that they go about being dishonest. And if you think for a second that teachers aren't dishonest about things that they've said to students in class or whatever, because the the teacher has more to lose than the student does. The teacher can lose their job over, uh, over something like that. And so, of course, the teacher is motivated to lie. I'm not saying they're all going to lie, but I'm saying they're motivated to lie because they have a lot more to lose. 
Um, so, you know, I'm just trying to just trying to set up some guardrails for this for this conversation. I'm trying to keep us on point too. Um, and the last thing that I want to say, which is I think the broader point of all of this, which is kind of like the change in culture that we've had. You know, you mentioned how kids used to be paddled back in school and now they're not allowed. I think we've made an advance in that in that regard. I I think having strangers beat your children is probably for the most part a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Not only is it emotionally upsetting that someone else is, you know, physically harming your child, but you have no idea how tyrannical that person is, what they're actually punishing them for. Are they punishing your kid for something that you would never punish them for? Are they punishing them for drawing outside the lines? Like, what are they punishing them for, you know? Um, <clears throat> you got to be careful when you give people um, authority and power. It's, it's um, I think we've made an advance in that, in that area. Um, the old, uh, the old thought process about children, like adults are up here and children are down here. And that, and that still is true because we have more experience. We have more wisdom. We have more responsibilities. We have more to lose. You know, if you let a child just do whatever they want to do, if you leave a child at home for three days by themselves, they're never going to take a shower. They'll probably burn the damn house down. So, so, uh, we, we deserve to be up here and the kids down here in that regard. But um, I think there's been an adjustment a little bit because uh, in the old days, there was a saying like, uh, kids are here to listen, not to be listened to. Those days are over. Those days are over. There's been enough studies um, done on children who were basically either ignored or just treated like they were wrong about everything or just treated like they were just always in their parents' way. And like, um, you know, we've, we've got the data now that shows that it's not the right way to treat children, to not listen to them, to not consider their feelings in anything. And it's just like, just do it. I don't care how you feel about it. Just do it. Um, you know, to a degree, there's, you have to do some of that, right? Like, I don't want to do my homework. Well, I'm sorry that you don't want to do your homework, but you're going to do your homework. I don't want to clean my room. Well, I don't care about your feelings about how you want to clean your room. But when it comes to other things about, you know, um, children's feelings that are, that are more, you know, like if they have uh, uh, deep fears, if they have anxiety issues, if they have whatever, you know, um, uh, any like deep, deep seated emotional issues, um, for the most part, the parents would just be like, ah, eh, he'll outgrow it. Just send him to school. You know, um, can we overcompensate in those regards? Yeah, I think we can. We can listen to him a little bit too much. We can be accommodative too much. I think as a society, the, this pendulum just keeps swinging back and forth. And, you know, we go from caring too much to not caring enough to caring too much. You know, like my son is getting ready to go into junior high now. And so, um, we, we did a tour of the junior high about a week ago and there's, they have a special room in the school for kids who just need to go there and just relax and just get away from everything. I'm like, in my opinion, I think that's overcompensating a little bit. That's because how tempting is it for you to be like, oh, I'm, I, I, I'm just too stressed. Like, like, I don't want to learn about this bullshit that my teacher's teaching right now. So I'm going to go into the into the safe space room and, and, you know, play Tetris on my phone for a half an hour instead of learning shit in class. Like, um, as, as human beings, we never seem to get it right. We always kind of go one too far one way and then we go too far the other way, you know, before children were too insignificant and who gives a shit what they think about anything. They don't know anything about anything. So don't listen to anything. And now it's like, we need to pay attention to every tiny little uh, thought that comes up in their head, you know, oh, really? I'm sorry you feel that way. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and it's like, you know, we we were we were too, too uh, hard as a, as a society and now we're too soft. 
But I think we've learned our lessons from being too hard on children and being too hard in general. And the days are coming when we're going to learn our lesson from being too soft. We're, we're going to realize what happened because we allowed kids to get away with too much. But those days are coming. <laughs> so I guess my fear is that the pendulum is going to swing all the way back the other direction again, you know, and we're going to get another, another um, generation of people who are just utterly abusive to their children and just don't give a shit about their thoughts or feelings or anything like that. But um, the answer is usually somewhere in the middle. That's what I found. Talk to y'all later.